Okay, one of the things I think is really enjoyable about having horses is maintaining some open space that attracts wildlife. Even in this like acre and three quarters, we've had coyotes, deer, eagle, uh, goldfinches, and a variety of uh, different kinds of birds mainly. But it's really enjoyable to think that you're creating some space for them and, and they're fun to watch. One of the birds that I really look forward to coming back every spring is the violet green swallow and the barn swallow as well. They're very similar, they fly alike, they, they look alike, except of course the violet green is violet green and the barn swallow is a little reddish orange. Every spring I look forward to the violet green swallow. Uh, some people say they see them in March, uh, but usually at this place they arrive about the first of May and they make their nests. And the reason I'm so excited about them, not only are they a pretty bird and they're fun to watch as they dart around eating all day, but um, they eat lots of mosquitoes, uh, gnats and flies. You're not going to get a violet green to your farm unless you provide them with a house. They don't go inside the barn. They don't generally make a mess underneath the, underneath the birdhouse. You need to put them about 12 feet up off the ground, usually on a south or west side facing slope. But like I said, they usually arrive around the 1st of May. They have their young and the young usually leave the nest about July 4th. The violet green swallow eats the equivalent of its body weight every day in mosquitoes. So you can imagine uh, that's a real pleasure to have a bird around that does that thing rather than having those mosquitoes eat on your horses. The barn swallow does the same. Usually there are getting to be fewer barn swallows as more and more barns are torn down uh, and the new buildings that are going up are completely closed off. So to create some habitat for barn swallows is really doing them a service. And uh, they need a direct flight in, like they go into my stall and they poop on the floor. Uh, you know. I, I clean the stall every day so it doesn't accumulate. You can put a platform underneath the barn swallow nest that will collect the manure so it doesn't fall down on whatever it is you're trying to protect. Where the violet green finishes around July 4th and leaves, the barn swallow has another brood and they stick around till September. And so that's oodles of mosquitoes that uh, disappear from your farm. And like I say, they're a lot of fun to watch. Okay, when you buy or get a design for a violet green swallow birdhouse, it's important to pay attention to the opening. Unfortunately, sparrows that are not native to America are aggressive birds that will invade the birdhouse, destroy the eggs, and destroy the young, even if the young are there, and take over the birdhouse. So you need to have a birdhouse that has the right uh, opening. You notice this is not circular, it's sort of oval shaped and it's size for the violet green swallow to keep sparrows and other things out. There's also other things you don't want to perch in the front. You don't want to perch where a, a, a predator bird, like a crow or something, could perch and then get inside the birdhouse. And you can put a flashing on top so that nothing can sit on top of the birdhouse and lean over and try to get in. But definitely pay attention to the design and the opening for violet green swallows. There's also bats. I have a bat house on the south side of my barn Usually you want bat houses, again, on the south side or west side of, of the building because you want the bat house to be warm during the day. They have to have a water source nearby, but if you should uh, attract bats, they eat 500 to 1,000 mosquitoes an hour and usually feed about eight hours a night. So that's, again, a ton of mosquitoes that disappear from your farm.